namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming taglay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa aming punto. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming pagawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Great day, learners! This is from Rock's War, TLE teacher. I'm here to guide you in your educational journey. Make sure your self-learn module is ready. What's new with you today? I hope you're looking as good as I am. All right, let's get this started. Do you still recall our lesson last week? You may write your answer in the comment box. Will you help me? Excellent! Cook, meat, cat. What are the market forms of meat? Very good! Market forms of meat are fresh meat, chilled meat, cured meat, and process meat. How about the cuts of meat? Hmm? Those are pork shoulder, picnic ham, country style, spare ribs, front hock, and pork loin, pork chop. Baby back rib, pork belly, spare ribs, sirloin, and rear leg. Let us now turn our attention to our new topic. Our learning competency, prepared and cooked meat. Our learning ob objectives are, at the end of the lesson, learners should be able to, number one, identify the different kinds of meat sources and nutrient content. Number two, select the nutrient content of meat and its cuts. Number three, appreciate the importance of selecting the proper cut of meat to its suited dishes. The amount of fat, softness, and all other flavor will vary depending on the cut of meat you choose. The flavor will depend on the section of the animal it comes from. It is important to understand the cooking technique to employ so you may cook with confidence and make the most of each cut of meat. Cutting meat is sometimes necessary in preparation of a certain dish or cooking method. Trimming is the process of removing undesired meat, portions such as fat and tendons. But before we proceed to our next topic, let's see if we can answer the activity on what I know. Direction. Identify the different kinds of meat. Choose your answer inside the box. You may write your answer in the comment section. You only have five seconds to answer every question. Are you ready? I can hear you. Great. I can see you're really excited. So here are some possible answers. A. 
Bep, B, lamb, C, medium, D, medium rare, E, rare, F, well done. For number one, when pressed, this meat feels its springy and resistance. Your time starts now. Your time is up. If your answer is letter D, medium rare, you are correct. Number two. This type of meat feels hard and rough. Your time starts now. Let's have number B. This meat comes from a couple that is over a year old. Your time starts now. Time is up. If your answer for number three is letter A, B, you did a fantastic job. Let's have number four. The texture of this meat is jelly-like and incredibly soft. Your time starts now. All right, if your answer is Letter E, rare. You are amazing. Last number five. This meat is firm and there is a definite resistance. Your time starts now. Time is up. If your answer for number five is letter C, medium, you did an incredible job. That was so amazing. Great job. Notice that we haven't even started the lesson, but you already have a glimpse of what we will be discussing. So, what are we waiting for? Let us start the lesson. Prepared meat cats according to the given recipe. Now, let us watch a video about the different kinds of meat in the supermarket. Let's go to the supermarket and buy different kinds of meat. Remember, if you're going to the market to get meat, make sure it's fresh and that is suitable for the cuisine you're going to make. Let's have the different kinds of meat 
and their sources. First, pork. This meat is from domesticated pigs, typically high in fat, commonly slaughtered one year or less of age to ensure tender cats. Number two, beef. Meat from cattle over one year old, humans hunted with wild boar in the past and later domesticated them. Since then, a variety of cow breeds have been developed with the goal of improving the quality and or the quantity of their meat. Lamb for number three. This is a meat of domesticated sheep. Its texture is determined by what food it eats and how old it is when butchered. Number four, carrot beef. This is a meat from water buffalo or carabao. It is known as red beef in certain locations or bop in India and Nepal and carabeef in others after the Spanish terms and breed name carabao. Chevron. This is a myth from deer or goat, approximately uh, six to nine months in age of and fed a forage and or grain diet and weigh around 50 to 60 pounds limb. Number six, bill. This is a flesh of a young calf, four to five months old. Some consider it to be the finest meat because of its age. Now let's move to the four kinds of dumbness in meat. First, we'll have rare. When pressed with a finger, the meat is very soft with a jelly-like texture. Medium rare. When pressed with a finger, meat feels a springy and resistant. Medium. When pressed with a finger, meat feels firm and there is a definite resistance. Well done. When pressed with finger, the meat feels hard and rough. Next, we'll have the nutrients content of meat. Meat consists of water, protein, and fat, with a few minerals and some vitamin B. Proteins are, those are protein, fat, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. When we say protein, high quality protein is the major constituent of meat after water accounting for about 20% of its weight. Meat contains 7 grams of protein per ounce. Fat content uh, can vary uh, widely according to the grade of meat and its cast. Carbohydrates. Meat contains very little carbohydrates, glycogen found in the liver and muscle tissue is present when the animal is alive, but the glucose that makes up glycogen is broken down to lactic acid during and after slaughter. We we'll have vitamins. Vitamins, they are made in excellent source of B vitamins such so as thiamine, B riboflavin, B2, pyridoxin, B6, vitamin B12, or we call it uh, niacin or B3, and some folate. Niacin is a uh, or vitamin B3 is obtained from tryptophan, an amino acid plentiful in meats and milks. Plus, you have the minerals. Meat is an excellent source of iron, zinc, copper, 
phosphorus and few other trace minerals. So let's move to the different meat cuts and how it should be cooked. First, we'll have the blade steak. We call it blade rose. The steak cut very versatile and can be cooked by barbecuing, pan frying, stir fried, dicing, or even slow cook. Blade rose is fantastic to be cooked as the whole rose. You may also cut into a steak. Second, chop. It contains a lot of connective tissues and is perfect for slow and moist cooking techniques. Third, is cut fillet. It is a moist, uh, a flavorsome cut of beef and is great for roasting or it can be cut into steaks or strips to pan fry. Number four, rolled rib and a standing rolled rose. Rolled raw area of rose is the same cut with the bones removed and the beef rolled and tied. A standing rib rose, it is a squash fillet with the rib bones attached. Next, we'll have the point and brisket. It is ideal for slow cooking, braising, or uh, use in a casserole. This cut of beef is perfect for any food beef recipe because it will start falling apart while cooking. Sirloin. It is best suited to high temperature cooking, such as pan frying and barbecuing. We'll have filet. It contains a small amount of connective tissues and fat. The filet is uh, best suited to pan frying, barbecuing, or even roasting if kept as a whole filet. Thick bone. This cut, as many readers would know, is a great for frying and barbecuing. Porter house. This is, uh, this is cut from the rear of the strip loin and therefore includes more of the tenderloin steaks. Next we'll have rub. This cut can be pan fried, slow cooked, or roasted. Silver side. All silver side cuts are great for slow cooking. Next, we'll have the top side. It is located between the plank and the silver side. This is be best for slow cooking. Last, we'll have knuckle. A lean piece of meat that can be roasted, slow cooked, barbecuing, or sliced for a stir fry. To enumerate. The different kinds of meat and its sources. Those are pork, beef, lamb, carabib, and chevron and bill. We have also the four kinds of dark, uh, dominated meat are rare, medium rare. Medium and well done. Nutrient contents of meat are protein, fat, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. The various cooking of meat uh, temperature is cooked based on its kinds of doneness. Now we'll have the different meat cuts and how they should be cooked are blade steak or blade roast cut. 
Chuck. A Scots play. Rolled rib and standing rolled rose. Point and brisket. Sir Line. Filet. He bone. Porterhouse. Rump. Silver side. Top side. And knuckle. Always bear in your mind to choose the kinds of meat you need in cooking and consider the amount of fat, tenderness, and flavor depending on what part of animal it is from. It is important to know which cooking technique to use. You can cook with confidence and utilize each cut of meat. Do not forget to wear your PPE or personal protective equipment. As Elder said, it is better to be careful than to be disgraced. Now I'll give you the video of selecting the proper cut of meat suitable suited dishes.
little knowledge. Did you know that? Research shows that people who eat red meat are at increased risk of death from heart disease, stroke, or diabetes. Processed meat also increase the risk of death from these diseases. And what you don't eat can also harm your health. Let's get it on. Let us answer what's more to gauge what you have learned in today's lesson. So let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, for the mechanics of the game, let us try to first determine the types of meat being described. Write your answer in the comment box. You are given five seconds to answer each number. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one, it is a cut of meat that is perfect for the food recipe is also ideal for slow cooking, braising, or casserole. It is letter A, chop, letter B, for the house, letter C, rump, letter D, silver side. Your time starts now! If your answer for number one is letter A, chop, then you are correct. Let's have number two. It is a beef cut that is great for roasting or can be cut into a steak in a strip for pan fry. It is letter A, blade roast. B, Knuckle, letter C, scotch fillet, letter D, T-bone. Your time starts now. All right, if your answer is scotch fillet, you're fantastic. Let's have number three. This is a very versatile and can be cooked by barbecuing, pan frying, stir frying, dicing, and very slow cooking. It is letter A, blade steak. Letter B, pilet. Letter C, sirloin. Or letter D, top. Side. Your time starts now. All right. If your answer for number three is letter A, blade steak or rose, that's awesome. Let's have number four. Yes. Meat cat is known to be great for frying and barbecuing. It is letter A, fillet, letter B, porterhouse, letter C, rump, or letter D, e bone. Your time starts now. Answer for number four is letter D, T bone. You're a genius. Let's have the last number five. This cut of meat that can be pan fried, slow cooked, or roasted. It is letter A, chop. Letter B, roll rip. Letter C, rump. Or letter D, silver. Side. Your time starts now. All right. If your answer for the last number 
this letter C Rob you are incredibly intelligent how many of you got a perfect score if you answered all item correctly send a happy face icon in the comment section i am truly amazed you all did job well done congratulations in this lesson we apply our mathematical skills in fraction unit conversions estimating measuring and planning and problem solving are all reinforced through cooking if we're going to relate it on science when we cook food a variety of physical and chemical activities take place at the same time in order to alter the ingredients in our subject food preparation cooking presentation and serving is an art form culinary arts can refer to any career that involves preparing cooking and presenting food but it is commonly associated with restaurant meals so for your assignment answer the assessment on page seven then send it to your tle teacher once again this is from rock saying it is not bad to eat meat but we need to uh, consider a balanced diet choose what is better for our health so that diseases can be prevented let us be diligent as life improves with the help and guidance of our lord remember class whatever is the situation education must go on thank you and god bless Bye-bye!